A million dollars in savings. That's how much you could need for a comfortable retirement. But most Americans are way behind. CBS 2's Marissa Bailey reports on what you can do right now to start saving for your retirement. Yeah, we've had a big year. <laughs> The Listons just turned 30, bought a new home, and are expecting their first child. I, I just want to make sure that we're prepared. A decent amount seems to come in, but boy, it goes out so fast. The Vosses are in their 50s, paying off credit card debt, their daughter's college loans, plus running a new business. The reality set in there, we got to start looking at it now. From a middle-aged couple who started saving late to a young couple who want to plan for the future while dealing with all the expenses a new baby will bring. Just have a simple but um, comfortable life. We asked financial advisor David McClellan to give both couples a financial checkup. First, Randy and Gail Voss, although they have debt. The silver lining for them is Randy has uh, some pension benefits, and that is guaranteed income for life. But it's not enough. The next five to seven years are absolutely critical. McClellan's first tip, immediately pay down high interest credit cards and education loans. Money you, that you used to be paying on interest expense is now money that's available to, to save. Another tip, maximize savings, a daunting task for someone nearing retirement age. If you start saving when you're 55, you need about $5,100 a month to reach a million dollars in 10 years. If you start at 45, you need to put away $1,545 a month. Age 35, $615 a month. Start saving at 25 and you'll only have to save about $272 a month. I didn't put the importance on it that I do now. Claire and Tim Liston learned they are doing many things right. I know we still have a ways to go on that. Both take advantage of their employer's retirement plans and they've started cutting back on daily expenses. It really starts with reining in your spending. Skipping that $4 latte several times a week and taking public transit instead of taxis can add up to hundreds of extra dollars every month. Education and... The Listons uh, talked about one hurdle with McClellan, how to keep their retirement savings going while helping their child afford college. Those two are in competition for the same dollar. McClellan's advice, consider a college savings plan, but not at the expense of their own retirement savings. Anything that you guys took away from that? I would say, like, how we prioritize and the mm -hmm. best way to do it. As for the bosses, do you feel better having answers and having a plan? Oh, yeah. yeah I just told Dave, I, you know, I finally got my head out of the sand. So, Marissa Bailey, you know, no, CBS 2 works. News. If you want to see how you're doing, we've put a link to several retirement calculators on our website. It's CBSChicago.com. Well,